I'm going to do some random pulls for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. The purpose of this exercise is to identify the strength in a dealt hand. If you are just beginning to play this game, that can be the most daunting part. Even experienced players at times might throw up their hands and think, what am I going to do with these tiles? This exercise is a great way to practice that initial decision making. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three random pulls. We'll alternate between dealer and non-dealer. The first random pull, we'll get 14 tiles, then 13, then 14. We have a joker, three flowers, north pair of west, white dragon, one bam. Then we have four, six, eight, with a seven in there, evens and an odd. And then we have a pair of fours. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would focus on the flowers and the fours. That's where I would start. One thing we could do is evens, two, four, six, eight. We have fours. That multiple will not reach all the way up to seven. With all these flowers anyway. Another thing I was thinking is maybe we could play a quint with that dragon. So I think I would hold that. Maybe we could keep the seven and pass two wins and a one bam. This though is kind of risky because of news being on the card. If somebody's playing a news hand and you give them two wins, they're going to be very happy. So I would let this seven go pass defensively. Now we have a one bam, seven crack and a west. That's going to leave us with north and west. I think that's all right. We may get other tiles that we can break these up with. I think that's what I would pass. Focus on evens or maybe even that quint, the very first quint. North, east, pair of white dragons, one bam, pair of seven bams. Then we have four, five, seven, eight in cracks with a pair of sevens and a single five dot. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I'd keep the sevens and start there. Seven crack, seven bam. I don't know if these white dragons are going to be helpful with those particular pairs. The like number hand, the dragons have to match the suit. I think what I would probably do is hold the five eight because what we could do is maybe play the mixed suit dragon hand under consecutive run if we get a six or a nine in here and then maybe a green dragon. Now that would be the second hand from the bottom as an option. Since we're keeping a five, I think I would keep this five too because we could maybe play big odds. Either big odds or five through eight consecutive run 
And that leaves us with these tiles to pass. And I think that would be a fine pass. Even odd in a wind, that's a pretty good pass. I would focus on the sevens. We have a couple jokers in East Wind, one, three, four, six, seven in cracks, pair sevens, one, four, six, eight in dots, pair fours. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would keep the multiples four and seven. And this year, fours and sevens can be used in several consecutive run hands. So I would keep consecutive tiles, probably three through seven. So I would keep these, the six. Let those go. Maybe keep the six. And that leaves us with tiles to pass. So we're keeping five through seven. If I had to pick a hand, we could maybe play four, five, six, seven, consecutive run, third hand down, using these to fill the gap with the five dot. But I really wouldn't pick a hand just yet. We have too many tiles to really pick a hand right now, but I would keep in mind the fifth hand down. If we can get a five dot and a seven bam, we could play four, five, six in dots. And then, oh, I guess we would need an eight bam. Four, five, six, seven, eight, eight bam. So I think consecutive run would be the way to go here, bridging fours and sevens. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. When any player looks at that dealt hand, they may have an idea of what to play. And somebody else could sit in front of those same tiles and do something completely different. If you start with the strength of the hand, typically that would be multiples or the predominant pattern, choose a direction to go and build around the growing strength of the hand. That is the way to set yourself up for success, regardless of what you play. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.